Let's take a look at solving linear inequalities that involve multiplying or dividing by negative numbers. Uh, you've probably been told, or maybe you remember, uh, that you're supposed to flip the inequality or change the inequality, reverse the inequality, something like that, uh, when you do multiply or divide by a negative number. But I want to look at why you have to do that. Um, I'll have another video that shows you specifically uh, the, a couple of problems where you, where you need to use this. But for this particular video, I'm just going to be talking about why we flip the inequality. All right, let's look at uh, just a general inequality of A is less than B. And uh, let's consider for this particular case that A and B are both positive numbers. So if I were to graph them on a number line of our negatives to the left, positives to the right, let's stick zero right here, A and then B. So A is less than B because it is further to the left on this number line, uh, closer to the negatives. B is further to the right, so it's the larger, A less than B. Uh, for the sake of argument, let's go with some specific examples, specific number first, and then we'll just go back and look at it in general. Let's say that this is uh, 5, and this is 10, and the negative number that we're going to multiply by to make it really simple, let's make it negative 1. So let's call that k, the number we're going to multiply by, negative 1. So we're going to look at what is k times a and compare that to k times b. k times a, 5 times negative 1, is negative 5. So we'll call that, well, let's just call that k times a. The negative number times a, that's negative 5. And then negative 1 times b, well, that's negative 10. And so if we now compare and use the number line to help us determine which one's greater, well, k times b is further to the left, which means it's the smaller number. k times a, therefore, is larger or greater than k times b. k times a is greater than k times b. And you can see we multiplied by a negative number. And in order to keep the inequality true, we had to flip the inequality or reverse the inequality. Uh, to leave it less than, we would end up with something that's false, and we don't like to deal with things that are false in mathematics. Okay, so A is less than B, we and A and B were both positive. We multiplied by a negative number, and the result was that we had KB, which was ended up smaller than KA, so we had to switch that sign. That was just a, a specific example. This will hold true no matter what our K value is, no matter what our negative number is. If we could quickly change that, to negative 2, and our Ka value would be negative 10, our Kb value, notice it's even further out now for the Kb value, is at negative 20, but again, Ka further to the right than KB, so KA is larger than KB. So a negative number times A, a negative number times B, in order to maintain the truth of the inequality statement, we have to flip that. All right, so that was when both A and B were positive uh, with some specific examples. Well, just how about in general? So if we start with our inequality, A is less than B, A and B both positive. All right, so we've got 0, and then A is positive, B is positive, A is to the left of B, so A is the smaller, less than B. So if we were to take and just multiply by any old negative number, A, it's still going to give us a negative result. So a negative number times A, and our result is negative. Now we're also going to do a negative number times b. And of course, a negative times a positive gives us a negative number. But b definitely will move further past 0 than a because the original b was further to the right of 0. And the products are going to be proportional. So that's going to hold true no matter what. The, the distance that b is from 0 will always still be greater than the distance than a is from 0 when we multiply by a positive number times both of them or a negative times both of them. But when we look at this in terms of an inequality, 
which way the sign should be going, uh, comparing a times the negative number to the negative number, same one, times b, the b value, the product that involves b is further to the left than the a. So that means that this is greater than that, and our sign has in fact flipped. So that's a and b both positive. A and B both negative is actually very, very similar. We can take a quick look at that. Let's stick with A is less than B. So here's 0. A is further to the left of B. If we multiply a negative times a negative, our result is going to be positive, so our negative number times a, and then our negative number times b, a negative times a negative is going to be a positive. And let's compare the negative number times a to the negative number times b. All right, so just like before, since a was further away from zero, the product of a times the negative number is still going to be further away from zero than the product of b times the negative number. Uh, and b is now to the left. The product involving b is to the left of the product that involves a. So this one is smaller. a then is greater. So the sign, again, it's flipped. OK, uh, so that's a and b, where both is negative. It's actually a little bit easier for when a and b, or one is negative, one is positive. We'll stick with our starting inequality of a is less than b. Since a is the smaller one, it's got to be our negative, and b has to be the positive. So, if in this particular case, let's actually change the picture a little bit. Let's let's move a a little closer in lines won't cross. Okay, so if I take a and multiply by some negative number, we had a negative times a negative. Our negative times a negative means it's going to have a result that's positive. End up somewhere over here. And then take b, which is positive, multiply it by a negative number, which means our result is going to be negative. Our result somewhere over here. So let's compare our negative number times a to our negative number, same one, times b. Negative number times b is further to the left than the negative number times a, which means this is larger, this is the greater, and again, our sign flipped. Uh, now, that's so we've looked at the case where both numbers are positive, both numbers are negative, both one of the numbers is positive, one of the numbers is negative. Uh, there are a couple other cases, like where one of the case, where one of the numbers is zero, uh, but that's actually uh, even simpler. If you start with uh, uh, one of the numbers being zero, let's say it's b, well, b is going to stay zero when you multiply by a negative number, because zero times anything is zero. If, so we have a is less than b, well, when you multiply the negative times a positive, our a times the negative number becomes positive, and now a, the product involving a is greater than the product involving b, so once again, you have to flip the sign. Uh, okay. So hopefully that gives you a little bit better understanding of just why you have to uh, flip the sign when solving linear inequalities involving negative numbers. Uh, I'll post another video that does show some specific examples.